32 minutes past the hour of 9 o'clock here on your Thursday morning. Well, we love featuring indie artists on the show, and now it's time to head to Canada for breakout country artists with genuine charm. It's Garrett Gregory. He takes you to a whole new level of entertainment. His latest single is called Rockin' It. He's playing some shows this weekend. He just released his debut album last month called Leaving You, and he's also have some news on that. We're excited to have Garrett Gregory on the show. First, Garrett, Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. It's uh, it's a pleasure. Well, first, congrats. The debut album came out last month, leaving you. You had a big release party. Uh, how is it? I mean, you've been on a whirlwind for the last year and a half. Has this been a labor of love or a nightmare? <laughs> it's been both. I, uh, I I actually put love in with nightmares, so it, <laughs> it seems like one of the same to me. No, it, it's been, honestly, a really great thing. All the music has been getting received well. We had our al- album release on May 27th there. Um, basically, people got a sneak peek of the uh, um, of the exclusive album coming out in physical form, and the full album with two songs that people have not heard yet are coming out on August 1st here. Uh, so you'll have a couple new songs to listen to as well. Yeah, if you go and try and find it, you can't, because like you just said, it's coming out August 1st. But I think five, is there five songs that are out there right now? There are you can find songs that are, you got her, buddy. Yeah, so you can go find five songs from Garrett right now. Well, the first song, Leaving You, which you were hesitant at first. You're like, well, it's kind of a love story, you know, yada, yada. But, but then, then you came clean, Garrett. This is about your divorce. You got her. I yeah, mean, this uh, this started your career. It, it absolutely did. It, uh, I basically wrote this one. I I figured you know what what better what better thing to write about than something i actually went through and something a lot of people are going through so i i I, you know what i put the song out and it kind of went out on a limb and and figured out figured out that you know people people can relate to this stuff and and if if you don't follow your dreams and you got someone that's trying to hold you back from them you're never going to end up going anywhere because you're going to have all that resentment and everything inside and so i was like i'm going to write a song about that and that was that was leaving you yeah, leaving you. Go and check it out. It's his first single. You also shot a video for it. Where did you do it? It's a great video. Yeah, so I shot the video at the Hannah Roundhouse. Um, um, so basically, it is the train yard that they used to switch around the train cars and flip them around and aim them in different directions and different uh, oh, different wow. sections and clean them and everything. And that building has been up since I believe 1908 and uh, yeah they reconstructed it and and reinforced everything in there and we decided to shoot the video in there because I mean why not do it in my hometown so we figured we'd shoot it in Hannah and yeah we did it there and it turned out really good and that's where I actually had my album release party as well so sweet well he just mentioned it you grew up in Hannah Alberta Canada you still live there I yeah. looked the place up it says population of 2559 <laughs> yeah that's I don't think they've updated that in a few years. I think it's left now. I think we're sitting around 20, 2,200 now. So, Ouch. What's going on in Hannah? What, what's the big trade? <laughs> oh, man. The, uh, we have our uh, gas plant down in Hannah here. So lots of people work out at the mine there. They, they used to do coal and everything until, obviously, that was shut down. Uh, but they converted it to natural gas. So now we've got that, that power plant out there. Um, we've got a ton of farming out here. So mainly farming um there's a few a few smaller businesses and everything but other than that it is just farming and gas plants yeah out in the middle of nowhere I right imagine. in the middle of nowhere <laughs> there's nothing for an hour and a half every direction <laughs> sounds like where we're at here in uh, buffalo wyoming well the, the big thing with alberta with hannah alberta canada it's the hometown of nickelback which the first band you were in garrett was a rock band yeah absolutely I mean, and you're still, your your music is still kind of country rock, I would say. Yes, it absolutely is. It definitely has those rock aspects. We, we uh, um, growing up, I mean, our heroes were Nickelback as well because, well, they're from our hometown. And first time I heard Silver Side Up, I was, man, I remember I was ripping around in my, my little yellow Cavalier. And that thing was, <laughs> oh man, that thing was junky. But we were ripping around in that and Silver Side Up came out and we were listening to How You Remind Me just blasting and I'm like I want to write music like this and do this stuff so we started yeah writing rock music and playing rock music and then um, a couple of our friends were like man you live in Alberta and you live in a farm town you should probably maybe think about doing some country too 
And we were like, you know what? That's probably a wise idea. We started putting country on a playlist. And uh, guess what? People started showing up to our shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny funny how that works. Well, <laughs> and, and when you listen to your music, boy, I can really hear Chris Daughtry, which is one of your influences. But you have done, I mean, if you go and check out Garrett on his YouTube page, you've done a million cover songs. Yeah, there's definitely a few for sure. I mean, was that on purpose? Was that to hone your skills? What? We basically, yeah, both. Um, I... I try and test myself with cover songs all the time just to see if I can sing them and, and push them out there and see if people like them. I, I honestly have, like, Doc, who's one of my biggest, he's probably one of my favorite singers ever. And uh, him and Dallas Smith and those boys and everything. And, and so we basically put that out. And um, I, I throw covers all the time just because people are always requesting them. They're like, hey, you should try covering this song. You should do this. So I'm like, you know what? It's it's a good chance to practice and good chance to learn songs and see how well they're received and, you know, maybe put them on our live set list. Yeah, well, which we'll talk about his live show here in a minute. Go check him out, GarrettGregory.com. He's on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Go to Spotify and listen to his stuff. Uh, Rockin' It is his latest single that is out now. I mean, it's amazing. In the last couple of months, I've interviewed a ton of country artists up in Canada which I didn't think there was that many, but it's just like the States. There's a ton of you guys. You're just getting into this, Garrett. How do we stand apart? Have we figured it out? What, what? So, well, you know what? I'm even figuring that stuff out right now. Um, basically, I would say the biggest thing that sets me apart is, is the fact that we're, our live shows, it's, it's, it's crazy. And, and we, I'm, heck, I say I'm more of a comedian than I am a country singer. I, I kind of go up there and I, I, tell a whole bunch of funny stuff and funny stories of, of us on the road and, and tour and then the band together and we bicker back and forth and, <laughs> and surf each other. It's, it's absolutely hilarious and people just howl at our shows. So it's, it's a great thing. Um, for, for the music sense, I would say the fact that, um, the fact that we have that rock edge, I mean, it's, it's, it is very tough to establish yourself as an original country act nowadays because there's just so much music out there and yeah. setting yourself apart. It is super hard to do. So um, my the biggest thing with me, I guess I just try and stay true to myself and write music that I think is, is it kind of fits the bill for who I am and also allows people to relate to it and, and keeping it with a rocky sense because, I mean, traditional country, I... I I never really had uh, I never really had that chance to, to write that kind of stuff because I never listened to it. I listened to rock growing up. So, I mean, hopefully that sets me apart and people may, may or may not like it. It's, that's kind of just the way it goes. Yeah, I'm more of a rocker and I love your stuff, Garrett. So go, go and check him out, GarrettGregory.com. A couple big shows this weekend. What's this, Pinocchio Stampede? You've been looking forward to this show. Man, it, it is one of my favorite shows of the year. It is so much fun. There's probably about ten to 15,000 people at this thing, and it is just it is just the biggest dust up in, in Alberta next to the Calgary Stampede, right? And it's, it's completely full, and people are always high energy at, these, at this thing, and it's, it lasts about four or five days, and, and there's a great lineup. Like, we have Corblund and, and Megan Patrick and, and those guys, and um, a whole bunch of, yeah, a whole bunch of great acts that are playing at the saloon stage and everything, and we ended up getting to play the main stage on Saturday, Canada Day, and so they fire off the fireworks, and then basically we hit the stage. And last year we played it, and I think there was, heck, I, yeah, it was somewhere around 6,500 or 7,000 people that were wow. hanging out there, banging up against the stage and, <laughs> and just having a blast, ripping around in the mud. And it was raining all day. So the, the, the field where we played outside there, it was just, it was like a foot deep in mud. And people were still out there just, just fla like smashing around and having fun. So. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. Well, hopefully the rain will will not be there this weekend. It's been raining nonstop here. I believe it's supposed to be sunny and sunny in seventy five. So, <laughs> yeah, perfect. Well, your live show, I I've heard it's just completely off the hook. You mentioned it a little bit, and you do throw in some crazy covers. What's a couple of covers you're playing right now? So right now we are. <laughs> you're gonna love this. So we um, we were gearing up for the Pinocchio Stampede. We've got a couple. They they won't know, but. Uh, um, we learned a rock version of I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys. And we, oh, man. Uh, we, yeah. <laughs> and we also uh, are doing a uh, uh, Burn to the Ground by Nickelback. And I think we're we're either ending our set, set list with uh, Summer Nights by Rascal Flatts or Detroit Rock City. So oh, jeez. 
Yeah, so we've got, yeah, definitely, definitely high fidelity songs. Um, yeah, there's not a single slow song in our set, so it's definitely going to keep people amped up the whole time. We try and make sure that we start with, with high energy and we end with even higher energy. So by the time we finish, those people are just going crazy. They either want more music or they're just ready to, <laughs> to party. So, Wow, that'd be something to see you play Detroit Rock City. Live. Well, we'll get a video of it for you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, Garrett's a cat guy. How many cats do you have? <laughs> I have I have three right now. We have uh, we have one cat that we basically adopted, found in a dumpster, and then uh, two, uh, one Maine Coon, and then one Himalayan thing. So we've got three cats in this house, and man, it is hairy. It is just. <laughs> I'm like, if I would have known that it was going to be this hairy, I probably wouldn't have... I didn't need that third cat, I don't think. <laughs> uh, no, it's funny. If you see some of Garrett's videos, he's wearing, like, a blue shirt, and you can see all the white cat hair all oh, over his horrible. chest. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's awesome. Uh, what's the tattoo on your arm? Uh, that is my family coat of arms. So my, so my last name actually isn't Gregory, so that's my middle name. So we went with that um, when I first... When I first met my uh, agency, Sakamoto, um, we were talking to them and everything, and they said, who are you? Because they saw our live show and, they, and said, who, who the heck are you? And I was like, well, uh, my name's Garrett. I do country and rock music. They're like, okay, well, man, we want to get you on our, on our roster, and, and we need to figure out like a, a name for you. And I was like, okay, well. Uh, and they're like, what's your, what's your, what's your full, like, first and last name? I'm like, my first name is Garrett. My last name is Boofink. And they're like, excuse me, how do you spell that? I'm like, B-U-C-H. And they're like, nope, we're good. What's your middle name? And I'm like, Gregory. And they're like, okay, hey, you're Gre Garrett Gregory from now on. I'm like, okay, perfect. So we ended up going with Garrett Gregory. And, uh, but yeah, that, that's a tattoo that says Boofink on it. And it's German. And it's just my coat of arms. Yeah, coat of arms. Awesome. Well, well, there you go. Now you know why he's uh, Garrett Gregory. I, exactly. It must be showmen coming from Hannah, Alberta. I've seen Nickelback a few times. They put on a great show, no matter what the haters say. Yeah, they definitely do. it. a lot of fire and a lot of high energy. <laughs> yeah, well, it must be something in the air in, in Hannah, Alberta, Canada. Rockin' It's your latest single. Tell us about it, Garrett. So Rockin' It is actually, um, it, it's funny because I wrote that song at like, 4.30 in the morning one night. So <laughs> lots of times, my inspiration, it's just, it's so ridiculous because it, it picks the, the weirdest times to kind of hit me. And because I can't just sit down and write a song. I, it, it's so tough for me to just sit down and be like, you know what, I'm going to write a song and this is what's going to happen. So it has to kind of come to me as inspiration or, or from, uh, from, yeah, experience or anything like that. And I was obviously sleeping. And then 4.30 in the morning, I woke up and I had this tune in my head, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to write this down. So I was up till 7.30 in the morning writing, rocking it, and thinking of those lyrics and everything. And it was just about a girl I'd met at the time, and she was just, she was literally just rocking it. She was awesome in every way, and and it was just perfect. And I ended up writing this thing till 7 in the morning, and I'm like, there we go. Made some voice notes, and then the next day, actually went upstairs to my studio and recorded it. And I was like, that's actually not too bad. I didn't know if it was harebrained because it was 4.30 in the morning, but... It actually turned out really good. So, yeah, turned out great. Well, you, you you have a girlfriend right now. Yeah. Okay. Sure so, do. so he is taken, ladies. Uh, if you go <laughs> look him up, even though we just said he's divorced, he does have a girlfriend right now. So, uh, uh, w watch out. You, I, I heard that you know people ask you about Nashville, coming to America, whatever. You've been to Nashville. You're still liking living in Hannah, Alberta, because you kind of want to conquer that first. Or what? What's your thought process? Yeah, actually, you kind of nailed it there. It's uh, I'm, I uh, I do like living here. My family's here and everything, and I I do love Han Alberta. The small town life is pretty pretty decent. I don't mind it at all. I like being able to kind of relax and you know go outside and not hear the traffic and just hear that peace and quiet and those crickets yeah. and just just hanging out. It's really nice to have Nashville. I love it. I love it there. And honestly, I I would consider moving there. There's just so many country acts down there. I don't know how how you'd ever, like you said, how you'd ever set yourself apart, how you'd ever get noticed being being in Nashville because yeah. there's just so much good talent there. And it's like, it's a, it's a tough show to make. It is it is so tough. So I just figured, you know what, right now I'll release music, live here, you know, for, for how much it costs. To the cost of living in Hannah is like a fraction that of Nashville. So, yeah. I mean, being able to keep recording and, and put my money towards 
music rather than living, it, it makes way more sense for me right now to do. And, and that's, so that's what I'm doing is basically getting a, a, a huge catalog of music out there and ready for all you guys to listen to. And then, yeah, I'll probably consider moving at some point when it gets more notoriety. But as for now, yeah, Hannah's good for me. Yeah, well, we had Gord Bamford on the show. Uh, a week or two ago, and and he kind of said it's 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 weird trying to break into America, and and he's doing just fine yeah. touring around Canada. <laughs> I would say, yeah, absolutely. It is it is pretty tough. Like um, you Americans have a good taste in the music, and it and you need your your palate needs to be sated by really good artists. You have to you have to get some some really awesome artists to be able to pique you guys' interest in it, and it makes sense because honestly. Between you and me, I like your best music way better than I like our music. So, <laughs> yeah, well, well, we like Garrett Gregory. Go check him out. GarrettGregory.com is on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify. Go listen to the rest of his stuff. And here is Rockin' It, his latest single. Garrett, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you very much for having me and uh, looking forward to talking again. Yeah, keep us, keep us uh, informed. Meant to be, save me. What's coming next? And then after that, we got a, a new one I just finished writing, and it's called Go On and Break It. And it's going to be my newest, biggest single uh, after leaving you. Awesome. More to come. It's Garrett Gregory. It's Kicks 96.5.